Okay, now we're here, we're going to illustrate the principle of thermal expansion. We've done other labs with this before, where we've shown that an object expands when you uh, heat it up. This one is a different illustration of it. We have a ball and a ring, and the ball fits nicely through the ring. Okay, what happens when I warm the ball? What's going to happen? Okay, so I'm going to exert some heat to the ball. the ball should expand, right? The volume of the ball should expand. Now the ring is kept at the same temperature. Okay, a little bit harder. Doesn't go through. Let me heat it up even more. Well, now, now it's even, the, the, the beginning portion doesn't even go through, you see? Okay, now it's getting even harder to go through, right? Now, what happens if I also heat the ring? It's also, is the hole going to expand? Now, what's going to happen is it's going to expand, right? Is the hole going to get bigger? Because the metal is going to get bigger, right? Does the hole get bigger or does the hole get smaller? That's often a question that's asked in physics class. When a ring gets heated up, because the material gets thicker, right? It gets thicker, 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 thicker. So does the hole get smaller or bigger? The answer is it gets bigger, okay? So if I heat this up, heat that up, heat that up, okay? It can fit through, right? So a ring that is heated also gets bigger, okay? And of course, we wanna get more detail. We can calculate which one gets bigger, which one gets bigger faster, right? But uh, if we see this, it goes in there very, very quickly. So if you ever get a ring in your finger and you can't get the ring out, you know what to do? Put it over fire. <laughs> of course, you'll burn your finger. But if you heat it up just a tad bit, of course, you don't have to put it over fire. You could just put something over fire and bring, bring it, heat it up, uh, heat up your ring. It should come out of your finger, okay? And uh, you can see it got bigger and it was able to slide. The other kind of illustration of this is this. This is a thermostats are based on this principle. You you don't notice it here. You have a metal piece. This is made of one material. The other side is made of another material. But uh, they're fused together, so it's not noticeable. Okay. So if, if I heat it up, what's happening? Why is it curving that way? Okay. Why is it curving to the left? Well, the material on the right side is a different metallic piece and it expands quicker. It expands faster. The material on the left side doesn't expand as much. So if the material on the right expands more, it tends to curve it. Now, when I cool it, it's going back to normal. Okay. When I heat it, It's always going to be curving this way. If I heat it enough, I can make it wind in a circle, 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 circle. Okay. Now, let me show you the basic mechanism of a thermostat. Let's say there's a switch here. Okay. Now, if, I, if it cools, it starts to go up, it starts to go up. It touches the switch, right? If it touches the switch, so you say in your home, Okay, when the temperature gets to 65, let's say in the winter, or 60, I want the heat to start, right? So when it gets to 60, whatever your setting is, this is going to touch that. It's going to set the heating signal. Okay, bring heat. When it heats, what's going to happen? The, thermo, the, ther the thermostat is going to heat. Now it's going to curve. After it heats a while, the heat turns off, okay? It doesn't touch the signal anymore. Then the temperature in the room cools, cools, cools. After a while, the temperature cools, 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 cools. The thing stretches, hits the signal, the heat, the heat signal is on. So now it, it heats and it curve, curves again. So that's the basic principle. 
You could do that also with AC, okay? You could have a signal on the other end, okay, on the bottom. And if it's too hot, if it touches that thing, AC is on this time. So it's like, imagine this the other way, right? Imagine the other way. So that's, that's the opposite end. Imagine it's curved this way now, right? So now if it touches that thing, if it's too hot, it touches that thing, AC turn, comes on. If it gets cold, it curves back down, AC turns off. So now you can kind of see the basic concept of AC thermometer.